Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another 90s nostalgia video and this one is My Parents Are Aliens. This was actually requested twice, I think, but when both times it was requested I jumped at it. I was like, yes, I will do this video because I absolutely love My Parents Are Aliens. As a kid, I loved it. Now I watch it, so I keep yawning all the time. <sighs> my apologies for that. So I absolutely love My Parents Are Aliens more than a lot of TV shows. I will be focusing on the original series, but um, I will touch upon briefly just now, in fact, just to get it out of the way, that when the new cast came in, when the, uh, when um, Josh, Mel and Lucy went away and the new kids came in, it was rubbish, not good at all, storylines were repetitive, didn't like it at all. But I have nothing but praise for the original set of series. Now this began in 1999 and then it went until 2006, but the Barker family were there until about 2003, 2004-ish. Um, so you, first of all, just in case you don't know, two aliens land on Earth and they don't know how to get back home because they cannot fix their spaceship or they've got to wait a certain length of time for their spaceship to be fixed. So they choose pictures in a catalogue that they find and they morph into two humans, um, Brian and Sophie. And then they go to an orphanage because they find out that people have kids in Earth. So they go to the orphanage and try and adopt kids. Um, first of all, they had dog beds for them and things and they didn't they didn't know what they were doing with kids so kind of like oh dear how are they going to handle this especially when you look at the variety of the kids ages you have the eldest one Mel who's about 14 15 she was quite quite punky nowadays if it was a modern version she'd be completely like an emo sort of thing it was like the 90s version of an emo and um, piercings and like quite short hair and things then you have the middle one who is Josh who would have been about 13 14 and he was you know he's a skater I like, think he was cool he was a bit of a prankster and a joker um, didn't take school obviously seriously and then you have Lucy who was about 10 Lucy was what you could label a SWAT she loved science she loved she wanted to be part of NASA very very clever kid so you have these quite three different personalities in one family because they are um, siblings and Brian and Sophie Johnson have to try and look after them and be their foster parents or their adopted parents and it's quite a challenge though, but I'll wait you on again sorry <laughs> I keep doing that and it's really interesting because it's just nothing but hilarity because it's like Brian and Sophie don't have a clue. Like they start off with they don't know what a microwave is. They think the TV is a cooker. They are just clueless as you would expect if you went to a different planet and were faced with a million different objects that you had no idea what they were. It's quite funny. Um, they can still morph. Brian and Sophie can still morph back into other humans and things. So they do play tricks and morph into the kids and things. Certain episodes are set in the school. One of my favourite other characters is Poppy Manning. Um, played by Kersha somebody, um, her name will be tagged below, played by Kersha and she was such an adorable little kid, she was about 8 or something at the time, quite, quite a, not like a swap but she was like a, a know-it-all, she was very clever, she was very sly, she often beat Josh at games and dares and gambles and things, which Josh being beat by a little girl is going to create some humour. A lot of it was set at the little cafe, um, Pete and Frankie were there often, which was Josh's two friends. And then Lucy always had her friend Wendy over as well, um, who was played by Isabella Melling, who is again just as clever as Lucy is. Uh, Brian and Sophie often let down the three kids, as in they embarrassed them, they didn't turn up for like shows or recitals or whatever they were doing, they embarrassed them in front of their friends, they ruined things, they'd wash their clothes and they'd turn out 20 times smaller, and it just totally chaotic, they'd trash their rooms. Which is absolutely fantastic. But Lucy had a special wardrobe that talked to her. That was the best thing about it. I just can't get over how much I love this. It's really, really, really good. There is actually a continuity error in this. Um, I actually talked to um, Tony Gardner about this a couple of years ago. And he just said it was just one of those things that got slipped. They didn't really pick up on it. I can't remember exactly what it is. But at the beginning, when they morph into Brian and Sophie, they actually take two other bodies first of all. And it's like, they just try themselves out and they get, they are themselves, yeah, they turn into Brian and Sophie. But then, it, on the very last episode, or it could be the last Barker episode, but one of the final episodes, they go up into the, the, the loft and in these two freezer type things that are the real Brian and Sophie Johnson, whose identity they stole. So the finale episode is saying that they just took two humans off the street and stole their identity, whereas the first episode is saying that they got their identity from a catalogue because it's different people it was like they had one image first of all and then they changed their image it's, it's quite confusing if you don't have if you haven't seen it but ergo there was a continuity error and it wasn't something that they picked up on but it is absolutely fantastic so funny so brilliant 
As far as I know, there's a couple of the DVDs out. I'm going to get them as soon as I can, but I don't think all of them have been released. But, yeah, I do love them. Good to yawn again, you know. <sighs> Sorry, I'm so tired. Yeah, my apologies for that again. Yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts on this. I love it entirely, completely love it. I think it would do really well nowadays as well. But please feel free to leave comments, requests, responses, etc. And I'll see you next time. Bye.